I started collecting Banksy pieces in 2002, 2003. I thought he was a great relief and a great contrast to the stuffiness of the Royal Academy and the formal art establishment in London. And I, I just ad admired his sense of humour. So Banksy uses a number of different techniques on his artworks. Um, generally in the streets, it's a series of uh, multi-layer stencils with aerosol. To restore this Banksy from start to finish, it's a process that's it's taken now almost two years. Uh, there was about 16 weeks of kind of concentrated work uh, and there was around about six people that were involved in the project from start to finish. Um, but the medium is somewhat different, you know. You're dealing here with multiple layers of paint on a very kind of complex base of, of brick and cement that's been attacked and vandalised over the years. Very unique, I think, for us. You know, it, it brings all our disciplines together in a kind of once-in-a-lifetime situation. So yeah, it's fantastic. Banksy is a recognisable icon in street art because he really broke the mould. He, he brought it to the public consciousness. The police uniforms will change over time, but everybody will still know what it is. This will be admired in 50 or 60 or 100 years time, when you know we're all forgotten. This is a work of art. This is a serious work of art, and, 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 and it deserves to be restored. I think coppers themselves have loved that artwork over the years. I think it's great that it's being restored. And, and what's even infinitely better is it's being put back. <laughs>